Today we are going to learn about female reproductive system in humans. The female reproductive system in human is made up of male reproductive organs. Accessory reproductive organs external genitalia and accessory reproductive glands so these are the four structures which are associated in the formation of female reproductive system in humans all these structures together perform various kinds of activities like ovulation, fertilization, implantation, development of fetus that is embryo and fetal development and last delivery of the baby. Now the main reproductive organs in female reproductive system are nothing but pair of ovaries. Here in the diagram we can observe the location of the ovaries. The ovaries are located in the pelvic region. That means in the lower part of the abdomen. One on each side. And each ovary is 2 to 4 cm long structure. The ovaries are located in the lower abdominal side. It is 2 to 4 cm long structure and it is connected to the uterus as well as the pelvic wall with the help of ligaments. The ovaries are the structures which are responsible for the secretion of female sex hormones. Those are estrogens and progesterone. Over and above these, the main function of the ovaries is to produce ova or egg or ovum. The ovary is surrounded by a protective membrane. And the name of the protective membrane is same like that of the testis, that is tunica albuginea. And this tunica albuginea, it is a epithelial covering which covers the stroma part of ovary. And the ovarian stroma is again divided into two zones. The outer zone is known as the cortex. Inner zone is known as the medulla. Now, uterus, oviduct, and cervix, they form the accessory reproductive ducts of female reproductive system. The oviducts, they are also known as uterine ducts. Or the third name is fallopian tube. Oviducts. They are not attached to the ovaries, but they surround the ovaries with the help of a funnel shaped structure. That means the funnel shaped structure which is near to the ovaries is known as infundibulum. And the ridges of infundibulum possesses finger like projections 
which are known as fimbri. Fimbri. The main function of the fimbri is to transport the released ova from the ovary into oviducts. At the posterior part of the ovary, there is a larger portion, there is a wider portion, and this wider portion is the narrower part of fallopian tube or oviduct is known as isthmus. And both isthmus join to the uterus on their inner side. So now friends, we can conclude that a fallopian tube contains three different structures. The proximal part, which is known as infundibulum, the minor part, that is known as antula, and the inner part, that is narrower part, which is known as isthmus. Now we can talk about the other part, the other organ, and that is uterus. Uterus is also known as a bomb. And uterus is an inverted pear-shaped structure. Uterus maintains its position with the help of ligaments to the pelvic wall. The uterus is the structure in which the implantation and development of fetus that is embryo or fetal development takes place. The uterus, the uterine wall is made up of different three layers. The outermost layer of uterus is thin, thin epithelial layer and that is known as perimetrium. The middle layer of the uterus is made up of smooth muscles which is called myometrium and the innermost layer of uterus which is made up of a glandular tissue and that is known as endometrium. C. During delivery, during birth of a child, the myometrium undergoes contractions and which facilitates the delivery of the baby. Whereas the endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle of female. So this was about uterus. So here we have completed the descriptions of male reproductive organs as well as accessory reproductive organs. Now friends, we will move towards external genitalia the external genitalia which are located in the female reproductive system they are of five types the first one is known as mons pubis the second one that is known as labia majora the third one that is known as labia minora. The fourth one is known as hymen. And the fifth one is known as clitoris. But before then that, the proximal part, the proximal part of the distal part, you can say, distal part of the uterus is a narrow passage. And that is known as cervix, cervix. The lumen of cervix is known as cervical canal. 
and this cervical canal along with the vagina forms a birth canal so what is birth canal birth canal is equal to cervical canal plus vagina and this birth canal is nothing but the passage of delivery of the baby now we are going towards the external genital. The external genital, as I told you earlier, there are five types. Most pubis, labia majora, labia minora, hymen, and clitoris. The most pubis is nothing but a cushion of fatty tissue. This is nothing but the cushion of fatty tissue. And this is covered by skin and pubic hair. Labia majora, they are the fleshy folds of tissue starting below the mons pubis and covering the vaginal area. Labia minora, they are also the folds of tissue which lie on the inner side of the labia majora at the junction upper junction near the urinary pore urinary opening of female the joint proximal joint of the labia minora there occurs a finger like projection that means the region at which the urinary tract opens and the fleshy folds of labia majora joins with each other, with each other. a finger like projection occurs and that is known as clitoris. The vaginal opening is partially covered by a membranous tissue that is known as hymen. And hymen can be torn out or broken during the first intercourse or coitus, during some kind of sport activities like cycling, horseback riding, or sometimes it is absent from the birth and sometimes it remains intact after the intercourse. So this was everything about external genitalia female. And last don't forget the female reproductive accessory glands. See, the mammary glands are nothing but the accessory reproductive glands of female. The mammary glands always occur in pair in the form of breasts. And breasts or memory glands contain glandular tissue along with variable amount of fat tissue. The memory gland contains 14 to 16 memory lobes and these memory lobes contain clusters of cells these are the memory lobes and in memory lobe clusters of cells are present which is called alveoli or memory alveoli. The cells of the memory alveoli they secrete milk and milk is stored in the lumen of the cells of alveoli. The cells of the alveoli produce milk. The milk is stored within the cells and now it comes out 
with the help of mammary tubules. The mammary tubules from alveoli join together to form a mammary duct. The mammary ducts, again various mammary ducts join together to form a mammary ampulla. And these mammary ampulla join with lactiferous ducts. And lactiferous duct opens outside through an opening at the nipple, in the middle of the nipple, from which the milk comes out where it is sucked. So this was all about the female reproductive organ, female reproductive accessory organs, female reproductive system of humans. So now, in next lecture, we will study about the process of spermatogenesis and process of Oh, Jesus. Thank you.